Hey guys, if you've been following my channel at all, you would already know that I just lost my uh, 2006 Dodge Ram Mega Cab Cummins in a vehicle fire the other week. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. It's uh, pretty interesting to say the least. So I actually bought the pickup back from insurance for about 1200 bucks. I think I have a little over $1,200 in parts. So in today's video, I will be removing the box off this pickup in order to sell it. And the box is actually in really good shape. It's 100% rust free. Um, so let's just go uh, take a look at it. So here's the box. I'm going to sell it with a tunnel cover. Tunnel cover is in good shape. Uh, there's no uh, rust or dents on it. Maybe a couple scratches here and there. And everything's in pretty good shape. So I think I can get roughly a thousand bucks for the box. So I'm going to show you guys the removal process of a pickup box on a third gen Dodge Ram. Um, it should be pretty easy. I've done a couple boxes now on second gen, so I don't think it'll be much different. So let's go ahead and uh, get this process going. All right, guys, first things first, we'll take off the tailgate. So next, I'm going to take off all my tail light wiring and then as well as my license plate and trailer light wiring because um, I'm taking the bumper off as well. Uh, for the tail lights, I'm actually just going to leave them on and go underneath and just cut the wires since the pickup's garbage. Um, but if you wanted to leave everything the way it was, maybe you're taking an old box off of your pickup and putting it in a new box on, you're going to want to take the tail light housings off and disconnect the harness that goes to it and then undo all the tie downs that are holding that wire to the box. Um, but for me, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the wires and leave the tail lights in because the pickup shot. Okay, so that's where my tail light wire goes up into. You can see it's tied onto the box there, so you'd want to take that off, but I'm just going to cut everything. And then same on the other side. And then looks like my license plate light is already disconnected. And then trailer lights, just a plug in the back there, easy enough. So now that I uh, just cut the wires to my tail lights and got all my other wires out of the way, um, we'll go ahead and remove the bumper, which is just a couple bolts on either side. So it's a 21 for the big bolt. So just from looking up from those three main uh, bumper bolts you got to take out, if you look straight up, those two bolts I just took out go right there. Um, there's one on each side, and then this just looks like a, an alignment tab. So guys, I missed these two bolts right behind the license plate, and then I think that's all the bolts you need to take out. The bumper should come right off after that. So now that the bumper's off, uh, we can take out our filler neck. And on second gens, uh, there's four Phillips head screws here. These look like rivets, so we might just end up drilling those out. These rivets have been kind of giving me hell. You can see I went through that one, but it still feels like it's attached. Um, I could monkey with this more and probably eventually get it, but I really just want to get this done with, so I'm going to go with plan B. We're going to leave. Uh, the filler neck with the box and I'm just going to take the rubber hose off of the filler neck just take this hose clamp off and there's two of them there you can see um, so I'll just do it that way and just leave the, the neck with the box no big deal all right guys so I just pulled both those hoses off um, I should be free there now all right guys so now we're pretty much ready to unbolt the box and take it right off uh, on the long bed second gen there's eight bolts on here, I'm not sure, there might be six, there might be eight, I guess we'll find out. Um, but after that, we're ready just to lift the bed right off. All right guys, so I'm just gonna use my half inch impact with an extension and uh, 18 millimeter. And I'm gonna stick my extension and socket right through the frame hole here and get that bolt up top. And I see there's two in the back on this side, uh, same for the other side, so we'll hit these four.
Yeah. My exhaust is kind of in my way there. I'm gonna grab another extension. All right. So we got the four off the back. All right, let's see if we can find these last bolts we need to grab. All right, so right away I can see there's one right there, uh, kind of right in front of the leaf spring. Yeah, I think it's just six bolts, so I'm going to go ahead and take these last two bolts out. I'm going to stick my extension right up uh, through the frame here at this point so I can reach that bolt. All right, guys, that should be all of them. All right, guys, as I was double checking uh, to make sure I got everything, I did miss a cable right there. Um, it's connected from the cab to the bed. So we're gonna wanna take that out. So this is what I came up with to remove uh, boxes from pickups. Um, I just put together this wood frame and it just lifts up under the frame rails of the box and I use my bobcat to lift her right off. Alright, just like that. All right, now she's ready to be lifted. guys so that's all there is to it uh, it's a pretty easy process nothing crazy um if you don't have a skid steer or something to lift the box off uh, you could just use uh, two or three people and muscle it off so yeah guys thanks for watching my video um, i'm gonna go put this box somewhere uh up on some tires or something so it doesn't get damaged and i'll list it for sale and as far as this pickup goes i'm still gonna rob some parts off it probably gonna sell the axle the two back tires uh the drive shaft Transfer case is probably still good. Transmission is probably still good. I could probably sell it as a core. Um, and then I'm thinking I might pull the motor and see if I can't just sell the block in the head. And I'm thinking I'm going to take the turbo off this and rebuild it. It's a HE351. And I might uh, actually put that on my 24 valve coming just for a, a cheap uh, turbo upgrade. So guys, thanks for watching this video and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.